what's up? Welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to be filming because I can film again because I've done university for three weeks anyways. I'm in Christmas break now. Very exciting. So I can film and edit on my spare time instead of coming home from work and doing schoolwork, which I'm so excited for because I know my YouTube channel has been kind of popping off without me. Like I have like a couple videos with over a thousand views. What? Never like... I've been doing this and like making fun of myself like oh yeah I'm famous but I'm not because like I'm not like I've well at the time I had 10 subscribers which were like literally my family and my aunt and my cousin but now I have 24 and like that's not like not that big of a number but like it's big to me okay thank you I'm so happy just to film because I haven't been able to and I've been wanting and meaning to make another Joshua Bassett video but I have not been able to because of school and those are the videos that are doing really well, so here I am filming another Joshua Bassett video. And this is actually me, and this is totally unplanned. Um, I'm going to see him again, and I'm going to meet him. So, um, whoever's going to the Toronto show, I don't know, like, comment and, like, I don't know. My Instagram is this, and we can DM or something about it. It'll be fun. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, the first show was so fun. And I'm so excited to see him again. I'm going with Emily again. Um, our other friend Corey is not going. Um, just the two of us because she, because Corey's busy. So, um, Emily and I are going. So, I'm very excited. Uh, yeah, it's going to be really fun. Um, but for now, this video is going to be um, something Joshua Bass related. I haven't decided what it is. Apparently, I don't have um, a video thingy with, like, what I wanted, like, my Joshua Bassett idea. Um, but I kind of have it in my head, so I'm just gonna pull up this Spotify and we're just gonna rank the songs. I'm just gonna go to the bottom and rank the ones that I've listened to. Um, this is gonna include some of the songs from High School Musical, the musical, the series, because I've seen the first season and a bit of the second season, and then I just ran out of time and I have not been able to watch any TV shows, so yeah. Um, so the first one I'm gonna rank is just for a moment, and I'm gonna give this one a 9 out of 10 because I love this song. I love it, it's so good. But it makes me really sad because, you know, they, they're not really friends anymore, so. But it's, like, a great song. Like, I'd listen to it at work, and I'd just be, like, jamming out my own little vibe. And, like, people are looking at me like, what are you? Like, what's wrong with you? I'm just, like, in my feels. Like, so good. Um, common Sense. I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. Um, oh, my God. Low score. But it's just because it's his first single. Like, it's also not my vibe. That's why. Like, a lot of his music isn't my vibe, but, like, sometimes when I'm in that vibe, it can hit. So, that is a point. <laughs> um, it's a good song. Um, it's a good first song, I think, for him. And I, I like the cover art for it. It's cute. Anyone else? I love the song. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Because it's so good. And I like the cover art for this one. Like, it's good. I love this song. It's just, like, it's so wholesome, you know? Lie, lie, lie. 10 out of 10. I love this song. It's such a bop. And listening to this one in concert, so good. I enjoyed it so much. So good. Um, only a matter of time. I'm going to give this one a six. Um, it's good. Um, his singing's good. I don't know. There's just like something I, I can't point out about it that I don't like about it. So it's only going to be a six. But I like that EP. Um, Joshua Bass EP. So we're going to go through these now. So the ones that... Uh, sorry. I'm going to give this one a seven out of ten. Um, I like the vibe of it. I just don't listen to it all that much. It's not really in any of my playlist, so I can't really go any higher than that. Do It All Again, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 as well. Um, same kind of reason. I don't really listen to it and uh, just, like, not in any of my playlist. Telling Myself, a 10 out of 10. This song is a bop. Uh, I wish he played this one at the concert, and I know he hates it. But it's so good and like that could have been such a good song to like jam out to because like you know that all these people who were there knew that song um heaven is you i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten as well uh it's a good song i just don't listen to it um even one slash the best part um i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten i like the song uh, it's just like wholesome and like i just like the sound of it it's great feel something 10 out of 10 um a great way to start a concert um, so fun, um, and it's just like a nice little road trip song, you know? Uh, Bet On It, 8 out of 10. I don't really listen to this version, I like the Zach Efron version, honestly, but it's 
good. It's a nice bop. Um, it's funny when we were singing it before the show, so uh, that's a nice memory. Uh, the perfect gift, I'm gonna say seven, six and a half-ish. Uh, only because I don't listen to it, and because Ricky and Nini don't even, like, end up together in the show, so it doesn't really, you know, I don't know. Let You Go. The song hurts. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. Because, like, it's so, like, relatable, you know? I can't talk about it anymore. It just makes me sad. Um, Crisis. I'm gonna give it, actually, The Crisis Secret Set Me Free. All of them, ten out of ten. I'm just gonna review them together. Um, they're all so good. Secret was so fun in concert. Set Me Free was even better. And that's, like, my most viewed video of, like, that in concert. Because it was, and, like, I'm glad. Because, like, that was such a great time. Like, it was so, it was just, like, I don't know how to explain it. It was so fun. And, like, everyone, knew, like, knew it. And, like, it was just so fun. Like, I miss it. Um, and, like, every single one of those songs are great. And I wish he performed Crisis. What the fuck was that? Uh, Doppelganger, 10 out of 10. That song got me through the summer. So good. Love it. Um... Okay, so the only one I've listened to, like, the only song I've listened to from season three, because I haven't, wa like, I haven't watched it because I just haven't had time, is Finally Free, which I listen to a lot in the summer, and it's such a good summer song. Ten out of ten. Reminds me of The Cottage. Uh, which, I did even use that song in The Cottage video, so if you want to go watch it. I was watching it the other day. Go watch it. It's a great video of mine. Um, Smoke Self, ten out of ten. So good. The song came out, like, a little bit before um the concert and so fun in concert it was so good uh 10 out of 10 great um so i think the only song that i haven't listened to actually i think i have listened to this whole ep but i don't really remember what all in due time sounds like um so that's the only one i'm not gonna rank um sad songs in a hotel room i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 it's a good song and i feel like if i listen to it a bit more it would climb up my ranking um, LA, that's a good song. Um, I have a, I have a story where I relate to it, like, heavily, but I don't want to, like, say it because it's kind of mean to some people and I don't like to keep it, I don't like to do that on the internet, so I, what I will say is that I can relate to it, like, pretty good, so I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, used to it, um, that's another one I relate to, 8 out of 10, like, fuck that, this EP, like, if, this, like, I, d I probably could have, like, listened to it and, like, a lot, but I probably would have spiraled, it might set me into, like, a little bit of a spiral, so I was like, no. Lifeline, that's a great song, um, 10 out of 10, I can't put that any lower. Would You Love Me Now, 10 out of 10, so good. He performed this at the concert and, like, not performed, um, he let us listen to the song and, like, the little meet and greet beforehand, and, uh, oh my god, so good, um. And as soon as he, like, played it, I was like, oh my god, I another song I relate to? Like, this man needs to stop, like, peeking in on my life. Because, like, how do I relate to all of these songs? Um, she said, he said, she said, um, 10 out of 10. This is, like, the boppiest song I've ever heard. And it's probably his best song that he's released, if I'm being honest. It's so good. Um, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say 7 out of 10. Um, it's really sad really fucking sad so i don't listen to it <laughs> but it's good um different i think this is the only song like new song i haven't listened to so i can't rank it but yeah uh hope you enjoyed my joshua ba bassett rankings i'm gonna do another video like this before the concert with emily because that's what i'm going with um and we'll do this again but with all of his new songs from the album and i'm wondering what the name of it is complicated i hope it's a pretty good album name, all I'm saying. But I'm very excited for what he has coming. I'm very excited, and I'm very excited to be a part of it, to like go to the concert. I'm so excited. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I will see you again soon because I can film again, and like it takes me literally an hour to film a video a day now if I wanted to. So I just don't have an hour to spare apparently in an entire fucking week. Actually, I was doing pretty good in my uploads with my upload schedule. I think. Once a week isn't too bad for full-time working, full-time university, so, you know, proud of myself for it. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're going to, to the Toronto show, um, definitely let me know, because I'm very excited. Um, 
I'm so excited. Like, I can't even explain, like, how... Oh my god, look at Emily's listening to sad songs in a hotel room. That's funny. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Go on my Instagram and uh, DM me if you're going and we'll talk about it. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I will see you when I see you, I guess. Peace out. Bye, bitches. Starting.